Hey guys, so we want to simplify this complex fraction. First in the denominator of this larger fraction, we have two fractions being subtracted. If we give them a common denominator, then we can combine them into a single fraction. So if I multiply top and bottom of this by x plus two, they'll have a common denominator. So x plus two times one is x plus two, x plus two times three is three x plus six. And then we can copy everything else down. Since these two have a common denominator, we can combine them into a single fraction. And let's copy everything else down. So this complex fraction can be thought of as a division of fractions. So we can rewrite this fraction that's on top. Think of this as a divided by, and then we're dividing by this bottom fraction. Very quickly, x plus two minus two can just change into x. Anytime you divide fractions, one process you can do is bring down the first fraction, change the divide to a multiply, and flip the second fraction. A lot of people think of this as keep change flip. Nothing cancels yet, but we can factor a bunch of stuff. So let's pull a common GCF out of this top one here. We can pull out 23x. 23x times what gives us 23x squared? Well, that's going to be x minus. And 23x times what gives us 46x? Well, that would be 2. So if I distribute this, it would bring me back to here. And now let's look at the bottom. x squared minus 4, that is a difference of two squares. So that's going to be x minus 2 times x plus 2. So now let's do this fraction. 3x plus 6, we can factor a 3 out, and then we'll bring the x down here. So now a bunch of stuff is going to cancel out. Plus 2 and plus 2 can cancel each other out, and then we have to state that x cannot equal negative 2. This x and this x can cancel out, and then we have to state that x can't equal 0, and then x minus 2 and x minus 2 cancel out, and we have to state that x can't equal 2. Nothing else will cancel out, so now we're ready to simplify. All we have left after everything canceled is 23 times 3, and that is equal to 69. Nice. And this is our complex fraction simplified. How exciting.